How do I create a personal website? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with automationlinks.com. Today's question of the day comes from Christina. She wanted to know how you can set up a personal website for yourself. Now, there's many options out there. Just five years ago, there was barely any, but now there's plenty. But the problem with a lot of different options for you is that if you start looking for the cheapest way, that's what you're gonna get. So for the websites, it's true that you get what you pay for, right? So if you pay for a really expensive, nice looking website, that's a strong base, that's a strong foundation, and that's what's gonna allow you to keep growing and keep building your business. If you create something really cheap and looking for the lowest cost at the very beginning, you're gonna have a weak foundation and you're just not gonna be able to grow. So what we see is people go for the cheap route and then they have to redo it and start all over when they finally are ready to grow their business. So tip number one, find a good hosting provider that's gonna host your website, but most importantly, is gonna provide great support because you're gonna need it and also is gonna include some free offerings along with your hosting. So as an example, you can go to a normal hosting provider, sign up with them, and then later down the road, you're gonna find out that you need to have your website secure, which is called an SSL. If you don't have your website secure, Google's gonna tell people that your website's not safe. So when you call your hosting provider, they're gonna charge you anywhere between 75 to 150 a year just for this SSL. Now the next thing is emails. If you want email accounts, you go to your hosting, you purchase your hosting, then you find out later you have to pay extra for email accounts. Like, as an example, brad at automationlinks.com. Now if you really wanna be ahead of the game, plan for the future and do it correctly, find a hosting provider that includes the SSL, includes unlimited emails, and has great customer support. Of course, we know where to find that, so let us know if you need help. Tip number two, you have to set up a WordPress site. WordPress is a strong foundation. Now, unless you wanna spend $15,000 or more to have someone code the website for yourself, that's a different option to go down. Set up on a WordPress, that way you can continue to grow. That's the strongest foundation for the lowest cost so you can keep growing your business. And then last but not least is the looks of your site. There's thousands and thousands of themes that you can choose from. Find a theme that you can easily work on or that your website developer offers and then find something that has that base, the template and the look that you want for your end result. Now obviously a theme isn't gonna look exactly like your website, it's gonna be customized and changed for your business. But look for something that resembles the looks and then you can start building on top of that. Now these are just some options. Please click on the link, you can go to our blog and see the rest of the options and tips we have for you. And of course, if you need any help, reach out to us. So please leave a comment, share this, or ask your question so we can feature it in our next post. Are you sick of all the information being thrown at you by all the hype and gurus online? Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with AutomationLinks.com. Six days a week, I answer user questions with the exact tips, strategies, and insights we use to grow our business.